Hello and welcome to chapter 9 in this series of tutorials for Excel beginners. In this tutorial we're going to start looking at Microsoft Excel charts. So I'll create a chart and then you'll get an idea of how easy it all is to do. The first thing I need to do is select some data for my chart. Now what I'd like to have the chart display is very simply the number of rentals for each movie. So the information I need is obviously the movie titles here and the rental information here. Now I need to select the data here, obviously in column A, that's straightforward. And I also need to select the data in column C, but skip column B. And to do that, all I'm going to do is hold down the control key and select everything in column C, the, the label and the actual rental information there, the rental numbers. Okay, so I'm happy with that selection there. And once I've done that, I can just go to the chart wizard button up here. Click on the chart wizard button. Let's bring that dialog into view and you'll see you have an awful lot of different options here on the chart choices um, you've got uh, pie charts, line charts, scatter diagrams, donut charts, a myriad options and even all these different ones in custom types as well um, I believe there are even more choices in Excel 2007 just in case there aren't enough here however I'm going to keep it fairly simple on this occasion. I'm simply going to choose a 2D column chart. Um, I won't go through the various steps of the chart wizard here. I'll cover that in another tutorial. So let's just say I'm happy with the choice I've made there. I can get a quick preview of the chart by clicking this press and hold to view sample button. Happy with that. And I'll just click the finish button there. And there is my chart. Now it doesn't look very impressive at the moment. I'm sure you'll agree. So I'm going to make some changes to it. The first change I'll make is the size. Now, when I actually want to print the chart, I've got a rough idea how big I want it to be uh, corresponding to the data on the, uh, the table there. So I'll just make it a bit bigger, and I can see that's a bit better now. I can work on it. The first thing I'm going to do is delete this legend box here, because it's completely redundant. We've got the label twice, in fact. This is the chart label, or chart title, as it says, and this is the legend box. I'm going to select that, simply point and click, and press the delete button and get rid of that. I'm also going to resize the font on the labels here at the moment. If I click on the category axis which contains the, the titles there, so select that, you'll see in the font size it says 12 at the moment, so I'm going to click on the drop down box and reduce that to 8. And you'll see straight away it's resized those labels and they look a bit tidier. I'm also going to change the value axis, so click on the numbers there and resize those to 8 and that looks a bit better as well. Now I'm also going to resize the the plot area. Now there are two two areas to a chart I should tell you that you've got the chart area up here which if you like is the whole area that your chart is uh, encompasses the chart and then the plot area is the actual useful bit that contains the data on the the picture. And what I'm going to do is select the plot area as you can see it highlights the plot area by putting the little um, drag handles around the edge and I'm going to drag the plot area to the very edges of the chart area just to increase the size there. You see it's also already starting to look a little bit more like a chart and I'll move that rentals label over to the left there simply by clicking and dragging. I'm going to make that stand out a bit more by making it bold um, putting a background on, not red, about yellow, that's better. So it stands out a bit more. Okay, I'll also highlight these labels a bit, I'll make them bold. So click the numbers there, bold, click my titles, click B for bold, that stands out a bit better. And I'm also going to change the bars. Now, um, I can change the colours fairly simply by clicking any one of the bars, it highlights them all. And I can just use my colours here in the fill colour palette to select virtually any colour I want but I can also do a thing called fill effects now I won't use the fill colour palette, I'll close that down oh yes my chart, my bars have gone invisible there which is because I've selected grey I think but if I right click on the column and go to format data series we get this other dialog box and I'm going to the patterns tab at the beginning come to fill effects and what I'm going to do here is choose a picture. So if I click on picture, go to select picture, and I've got a few pictures here, but what I want is this film strip image, which will be appropriate for my movies charts. Click insert. On the format here, I'm going to select stack, and you'll see why in a second. There is a stretch option. Now stretch actually stretches the image to the height of the column, but I want it to stack so the image 
appears multiple times for each column as you will see in a second so I just click OK to say I'm happy with that picture click OK one more time and it puts these little movie strip images onto my column now let's say I don't want my columns to be that skinny I want them to be a bit chunkier I can right click again on the series go to format data series and this time if you come to the tab that says options you'll see what we have is this option that says gap width now I'm going to reduce the gap width which is obviously the gap between the columns to 100 so if I click on that little button there sometimes it's quite hard to click on which is so small there we go take it down to 100 click OK and you'll see the columns now are looking a bit more healthy the final thing I'll do here is on the background I'm going to put another picture so I find my plot area make sure the little label pops up click on that right click go to format plot area come to fill effects again come to picture select picture and this time I'm going to choose one of these Hollywood sign backgrounds I'll choose the uh, there's another one there with a, a clearer sky on it which I'm going to select so I'm going to insert that click OK OK to say I'm happy with that picture and there we get a Hollywood sign background which you may say is more appropriate to this type of chart the uh, the background instead of being white I might want to change that as well so I can go up here select my chart area right click format chart area and I'll put a fill effect on and I'll choose a two color effect and let's say we have this um, mm, sky blue perhaps and for color number two we'll choose this sort of light turquoise yeah I know I'm not artistic but never mind um, we'll choose a diagonal fill maybe one of these sort of banded ones here you've got four different choices there if you want you I'll let you select your own however that'll do for me click OK click OK and we'll get the sort of light blue background as well for the chart so you see there in a few clicks really we've managed to improve that chart quite considerably um, you can format any of these elements on the chart individually simply by clicking and selecting every time you click you're selecting an element of the chart they're all completely independent so you have the value axis you have your category axis you have your series information the columns you can even independently select one of the columns the way to do that is first of all click to select all the columns and then click again to select one individual column and then you can right click and format that one data point in a different way if you want to so if I change the color to yellow click OK and that stands out with a different color um, if I don't want to do that obviously as with anything on Excel you can click the undo button and revert to how it was before um, if you want to change the lines or delete the lines the actual the axes uh, grid lines you can click the grid lines and press delete and they're gone um, click undo or bring those back again but the best thing that I can tell you to keep in mind about creating a chart is that somebody will have to look at the chart and understand it and the best thing you can do is keep the chart nice and simple not too complicated so that when somebody sees that chart they say yes I understand what that information is trying or that chart is trying to tell me there's one thing I can add here just one final thing perhaps at the moment it's not clear exactly what each of these columns represents exactly when when they're close to the grid lines you can read across and say yeah, that's 12 uh, maybe that one is 9 and so on and so forth but you can actually put the values on as well so if I click or right click there go to format data series come to data labels click show value click OK puts the labels on I'm going to change those to make them stand out so if I click them I'm going to put a red background on and I'm going to change the font color to yellow make it bold and I'll also change the font size down a wee bit to 10 so it's not too gaudy click away and there we are that chart is done I'm happy with that now if I just zoom out on my spreadsheet to 75 percent I'm going to position that chart finally I'm going to click and drag down so it's below my uh, data there we go that's nicely positioned there and so when I go to print it I will have my data table at the top and my chart just below it illustrating it and if I finally just click on print preview there so there we go I could print that out and uh, hopefully impress somebody with it you never know so I'll close that print preview and there we are that's all done I'll save that again and that concludes this first look at charts just to illustrate how you get a chart on the screen first of all and some of the clever things you can do to format your charts and um, make them look quite impressive so thank you for watching this video hope that was useful for you and uh, see you next time